Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Chef Guru from guruscooking.com with Pindi Chana. So we have taken around 2 cups of chickpeas in 5 cups of water and soaked them for 8 hours. And now we'll take a muslin or a cheesecloth to which we'll be adding few spices starting with 12 whole black pepper 2 green cardamom 1 star anise 3 cloves 1 bay leaf 1 cinnamon stick 1 black cardamom and then we'll make it into a pouch rotate it nicely and firmly tie it with a thread and keep it aside I'll tell you how we'll use this in a short while We'll take another muslin or cheesecloth to which we'll be adding one tablespoon of tea. Yes, tea. What this tea will do is it'll offer nice dark brownish color to your chickpeas later on. So we'll do the same that we did with the spices. We'll bind it into this like a pouch and make it into a tea bag. In case you have tea bags, you can use one tea bag instead of following this procedure. So now we have two bags, we have got chickpeas which we had soaked long time back in 8 hours for 8 hours, I'm sorry not 8 hours So we'll add these two bags, the tea and the spices bag and pressure cook them for 20 minutes and after 20 minutes of pressure cooking we have got these nice chickpeas which you can test by pressing if it firmly easily presses like this, you're done It's time for us now to prepare our masala mixture for that I'll be taking two tablespoons of desi ghee or clarified butter in a pan this pan is now cooking at a medium to high flame when the ghee is hot enough we'll be adding one fourth teaspoon of ajwain or carom seeds ajwain is really good for digestion especially because of the chickpeas that produces gases when you eat them We'll add 2 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste here and we'll saute this mixture for around 2 minutes or until the raw smell and aroma of the ginger garlic paste disappears. We'll go ahead and add three green chilies which have been slit into two halves like julians. And we'll saute this for another minute or two. We are still cooking at a medium to high flame. So we have already added spices if you remember when we were boiling the chickpeas we added around 12 whole black peppers and now we have added three green chilies and we'll add some more spices starting off with one and a half teaspoon of salt for your kind information i've reduced the flame now to a very low flame i'm just simmering it we don't want these spices to burn that is very important half a teaspoon of red chili powder ladies and gentlemen Remember, we have already added some spices, so do not add too many. Half a teaspoon of coriander powder. One fourth teaspoon of ginger powder. This is also called sauce in Hindi. One fourth teaspoon of garam masala. One fourth teaspoon of roasted jeera powder. Jeera is also called cumin. 
वन फोर्थ टी स्पून ऑफ टर्मरिक पाउडर और हल्दी वन फोर्थ टी स्पून ऑफ अमचूर और ड्राई मैंगो पाउडर अमचूर रियली एड्स फॉर अ टैंगी टेस्ट एंड वन मोर इंग्रीडियंट वन फोर्थ टी स्पून ऑफ अनार दाना और पोमोग्रेनेट सीड्स पाउडर दैट ऑल्सो एड्स फॉर अ नाइस tangy taste to this uh, recipe so that's really important we'll give this a nice mix and as you can see the oil is already oozing out well that doesn't mean that they are masalas have mixed properly or if they have cooked properly so we would like to add a little water here otherwise your masalas would tend to get burnt even though you are cooking at a very low flame right now so we'll go ahead and add around half a cup yeah that would be sufficient around Half a cup of water. In case from the chickpeas, if you have saved some water, you can add that water here. Unfortunately, I didn't save any water from the chickpeas. I strained all the water, so I had to add just uh, the regular water. In case you save some water from the chickpeas, you are most welcome to add that. Nothing better than that. So after this, we'll be adding the boiled chickpeas. We are still cooking at a low flame. Look at them, so beautiful they are. Now we'll give them a nice mix with these beautiful spices that we added. Let me just focus my camera properly. Mm, there, all right. Now let's go for a nice mix. and gently mix up everything slow and steady you wins the race and slower should be your pace let me repeat once again you are cooking at a low flame we are mixing up everything nicely there is enough ghee enough water content enough moisture so don't worry about the chickpeas getting burnt at this time after mixing this well enough we'll be covering this with the lid and cooking this for around 15 minutes and there is no rocket science involved any more in this whatever had to be done is done well i think i need to keep uh, my mouth shut for a while because i've been talking since a long time can i have a glass of water please thank you so we'll cover it with a lid and we'll allow this to cook for around 15 minutes as discussed at a very low flame in between if you wish you may keep checking often in between like one or two times not more just to check that the chickpeas is not sticking to the bottom of the pan and it is not uh, burning that would be the only reason you would just open and check so after 15 minutes i'm opening this and checking now let me zoom in my camera and there some beautiful chickpeas with some golden brown color along with those julians of nice green chilies wavering around like boat in the sea full of chickpeas is what you deserve after this nice hard work and relish this by garnishing it with tomatoes onions lemon green chilies and whatever you wish to eat it with thank you Thank you.